Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to April's wrap up. It is not one of my videos if we're not doing a wrap up in the middle of the following week. I know, right? So we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this video. Um, as always, we're gonna be doing the rewatches, first time watches, and then I do have one Oscar nominated um, movie here, and then just everything that came out in March 2023. So if you want to skip around, I will have timestamps down below. So first up is going to be Legally Blonde, and I just really love this movie. It's it's like a feel-good movie, but I'm not going to put it under feel-good. I'm just going to put it under love it. It's Legally Blonde. I'm not really going to go much into it. If you haven't checked it out, if you're into kind of like 2000s cheesy movies but it's like a great movie because you know like you can have beauties and brain and don't underestimate the blonde girl because you know what when she puts her mind to it she will get into harvard then we're gonna go on to megan so this movie did come out like at the very beginning of january of course i was like i am not gonna watch this movie because like ooh, scary doll no then it didn't help when desiree watched it right when it came out uh, but she watched it in Spanish, so she thinks that that may have something to do with the, maybe the translation or that the voice, uh, like voiceover in the Spanish version wasn't as great because she said she didn't really like it. And everybody assured me, and Desiree and everybody was like, no, it's not a scary movie. You can watch it. I don't, I don't know. But here we are. What is it, three months later, two months later, and I checked it out. And it does have one creepy ass movie when the doll goes like batshit crazy but overall it's not a scary movie um i thought it was a pretty mm, i enjoyed it enough you know what i'm gonna say it's a pretty great movie it was a creepy ass movie but i i would rewatch it except for that one i would have my eyes closed when that creepy movement had because i was scared that i knew it so then last up in this category we have Crooklyn and this is a Spike Lee movie and it is based off of his life and I think he co-wrote it with one of his siblings I can remember but just kind of how they recall you know them growing up in Brooklyn and just everything that kind of went on with their family and everything like that. I actually had never heard about this movie. It was until my friend was all like you need to watch this movie. She was trying to tell me something funny that happened and I was like I don't know where the reference is. She goes it's so funny you had to check this movie out. So I'm gonna say this because her saying that it was something funny i was honestly going into this movie thinking oh it's going to be a funny movie and then like when i told her i said dude like that wasn't funny like what are you talking about she goes no i never said it was a funny movie i just wanted to tell you about a funny part in the movie i'm like dude like okay it's a really 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 good coming of age story the acting was really good i just didn't fully enjoy it i think while i was watching it just because I was expecting a comedy. <laughs> I'm gonna actually go ahead and put it under there under great because it really was. This is one that I do recommend, especially if you like these coming of age stories. It is from the 90s, like 94 to early 90s. So then we're going on with the Oscar nominated movie. This is uh, one of the shorts, My Year of Dicks. And quite honestly, I was honestly expecting like, oh, this is gonna be a young woman who is expressing her like sexuality in a year of, you know, exploration but no no it's about this uh 15 year old girl i think she was 15 and just her journey on trying to lose her virginity and the guys that she's trying to you know lose it with and how things don't quite work out and quite honestly i enjoyed it i like the animation and it is one of the uh animated shorts I think it was probably like 20 minutes long or something like that. So I'm going to say it was a pretty great uh, movie as well. So then we're going on into what came out in 2023. So if you jump forward to just what came out March 2023, you are in the right place. So first up, we have Scream 6. And of course, this is like the documentary. This is a continuation of the Scream franchise. The next chapter with the new cast members and kind of like in scream 2 where we go or no scream 2 scream 3 2 right where we go off to college we're going off to college here as well the team has stuck together and we are in lovely new york we have a whole new ghost face very murderous ghost face that he's just not coming after the general people that you know you would think but he's coming after anybody and everybody that comes in their way and he literally just slash 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 killing 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 the kills are really brutal i love scream like scream like this franchise is like one of my favorites 
I love slasher movies. Um, I don't like demonic or something like that, but I do love slasher movies. And there's something about Scream that I just, I really, really love. It's always a good time. Uh, this was no exception. But I do have a review on this one. I have a review for uh, number five. I don't, I, ha I haven't reviewed any of the ones. I think a number of, when I did last year's, I ranked them. And then when I talked about it this time, I just kind of, Put it somewhere in there you know with the, with the ranking videos i don't really do those i if i remember when i'm doing the review i just do them there but um i'm just gonna put that i loved it i because i really did i just I absolutely love these movies and then we have creed 3 and i also really enjoyed the creed movies uh this time around it was directed by michael b jordan i really loved what he did his vision with this film it was kind of artsy which it's something that i'm into not like all the time but i totally understand like for the rocky fans or just for the other creed uh fans how this particular style didn't fully work for them it was just a little bit too you know artsy party whatever but it worked for me and i really enjoyed the add-on of jonathan majors i like what he brought to the table but honestly not much else um, I want to say about it. I'm just going to say it was a pretty great movie. Quite honestly, you guys, I'm not feeling that great. So it's kind of a lot with the energy that I'm doing right now. So Shazam! Fury of the Gods. This one... was I don't know. I'm still trying to debate. Um, It was too long, you guys. It was too long. I enjoyed it for what it was. For Yeah, I remember... But honestly, I don't remember it that well. I really, really don't. Honestly, when I was like looking and getting these posters, I was like, dude, like, did we really just watch these like this last month? Like, it feels like it was like way, way before. Honestly, I don't fully remember a lot about Shazam. I mean, I enjoyed it. I think, yeah. I don't remember what I gave it. But it was too long. Um, Definitely was too long. I'm going to say it was an okay movie because I don't remember it. I know that's terrible, right? But I know I didn't hate it. I do know that. So we're gonna move on. John Wick, chapter cuatro. All right, so I do have a review for chapter three and chapter four. That was like early on review, so that was sort of like more cringe-worthy reviews. I actually saw it twice in theater, yeah, I believe it. Like, I mean, going to the theater twice. I, that, some of you are probably like, what, that's nothing. It's something for me because I really don't go to the theater to see a movie like multiple times unless I really, really, really love it. I'm like, oh, I want to see certain things. But full on action sequences. I like the story. I love Kane. Awesome. I think we all love him. Some of the other, you know, like the tracker guy, the daughter. I mean, the daughter was kind of like quick. I kind of wish we had a little bit more of her, but a lot of the new additions, I honestly could have done without them to be honest with you keanu reeves doesn't really say much in this movie you know he's a man of very very few words here um he definitely was more like superhero more indestructible i didn't really pay attention to at that time like i saw it and i was like how many times are you gonna fall off a damn window like how many times are you gonna get hit by a car and like not really get taken down right but it was one of those like, oh, just shut that part of your brain off and don't think about the logical thing that, oh yeah, he definitely would have been dead. He definitely would have, you know, been gone, like on the floor, whatever, broken ribs or whatever. So it's one of those things like when you watch it, just don't even think about that and just enjoy it for what it is, which is just like this great looking shot, action packed movie. Um, there towards the end, there's this, um, great shot which was like my favorite scene when they're doing like the overhead shot of the the fight where they're going into the different rooms i don't know what that that kind of shot is called but again it's one of those things where don't really look too too much into everything uh the main villain i didn't ha really have a problem with him was he the best villain no uh the other guy the one the one that was kicking john wick's ass he was honestly a better villain because i liked how he was actually fighting with him the other one was more of a scaredy cat younger guy trying to prove a point but it was fine i still enjoyed it um i do have a review like an after the theater review and then also i went live with uh geeks and flick and i'll try to remember to tag down here down in the bottom uh we did go live and have a full discussion on it uh so you guys can check that out as well uh, just to kind of hear just more thoughts it was like a four person panel including myself it was great great time but i love this movie i thought it was an awesome movie i love john wick is one of again one of my favorite kind of franchises um 
kick-ass people yes uh here we go i talked a little bit more here because i actually really enjoyed it and finally i guess i'm kind of cheating with this one with dungeons and dragons honor among thieves because technically i watched this in april but it did have a march release and i technically was gonna watch it in march but then i had a little bit of change of plans and then i ended up going a couple days later but since i hadn't done this review and it's maybe something you might be interested in you're like wondering where i was like you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and incorporate it here and i guess i sh didn't have to say nothing but yeah no i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna say it it's a really fun adventure you definitely are you know on a quest it was a pretty good fun good time and i'm just actually gonna just put it under like a feel good movie i feel like i was expecting more out of it than what i got i don't know why because like i said i it, you would think i would want more because i've been in the world you know and i'm like what about this and this this and that but i don't know like i felt like a little bit underwhelmed with it i guess but i still enjoyed it and i do still recommend it i think it's definitely worth the watch this is what i watched in the month of march slash april uh let me know down below what did you guys watch do we watch any of the same things do you agree do you disagree if you disagree that's totally fine you know just let me know down below what your list is looking like there's no right there's no wrong list everybody has their own personal opinions so let's keep it civil in the comments down below all right guys and i guess my like unofficial break is done i did say that i was going to be kind of relaxing the first few months of the year and then kind of come back in april or may and quite honestly i've been putting out so much content regardless <laughs> not like a lot a lot but I, compared to when i did take a break last year and when i was just uploading like my monthly wrap-ups i definitely have still been putting out more content it's kind of funny because like i was not officially on a break <laughs> so don't be shocked in like the summer when i'm like i need a break and you're gonna be like Stephanie, you took a break i'll be like did i now did I because I really did <laughs> I was still putting stuff out there but I was just like not pushing myself and that's still how I'm gonna be doing things I'm just like keeping it easy because I really burned myself out that one year and very close to quitting my channel so I'm definitely have been taking it easy I love my like non official schedule you know what I'm just gonna come out with a video out of nowhere I keep you on your toes so if that's something that you might be interested in then you know consider subscribing to the channel of course don't forget to give this video a like comment share all that good stuff um and that's it for me today thank you so much for watching and until next time I'll see you guys at concessions bye <laughs>